Hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. Thanks for joining me. We have one of the most heinous crimes I can imagine. Somebody impersonated a pizzeria. So a man was jailed for impersonating a Miami Springs pizzeria, delivering disgusting pies, police say. <laughs> I don't want a disgusting pie. So customer complaints convinced the owner of the real pizzeria to call the police. <laughs> and so it turns out a 55-year-old man is facing a felony charge in South Florida for a bizarre impersonation scheme that left pizza customers getting a raw deal. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I had to reread that headline originally. I, I was like, how did a man impersonate a pizzeria? Did he like dress up like a building and just take money? But no, uh, it's a little more elaborate than that. Police said he ran a quote unquote elaborate scheme to defraud tourists staying in the hotels of Miami Springs by pretending to be a well-known local pizza parlor. So according to police, customers who thought they were ordering pies from Roman's Pizzeria were instead getting subpar slices from just some random dude. So this man distributed fake pizza flyers to hotel rooms along a strip near Miami International Airport, advertising a Roman pizzeria, misleading in visitors, according to the local police. So the real pizzeria, the proprietor, who's been cooking up pies for four decades, said that the man's plans or the man's pizzas were bad, uncooked, and sometimes they were sent in a box with a piece of raw dough. <laughs> they just give it to them, and by the time they realize that uh, the guy's gone anyway. So police said the fraud had been gone ongoing for several years. That is nuts and caused significant hardships for the real pizzeria, including complaints to the Better Business Bureau, negative reviews, and upset customers. Man, that is dirty. I thought this was like a, like a one-week thing. So sometimes they show up upset here to the store claiming, where's the food? And he has to explain that that's not us. So after Roman went to the police, officers arrested a man on a charge of organized scheme to defraud and booked him into jail early Monday morning. <laughs> At least if you're going to do something, do it right, the pizza, the real pizzeria said. So uh, this man, the fraudster, is facing an ag is also facing an aggravated battery charge after fleeing from hotel staff in his vehicle and hitting a staff member with the vehicle. Hey, 30 minutes or it's free, right? So in court Monday afternoon, the judge ordered the man to stay away from the Days Inn where the victim works and presumably where he was delivering pizza. So in open court, a lawyer seeking to have the aggravated battery charge dismissed read from an arrest report that st states that he told officers that he, quote, left the area fast and didn't think he had hit her with the car because he understood he wasn't supposed to be passing out the pizza flyers at the hotel. They found prob probable cause to charge him with aggravated battery, giving him a $5,000 bond. And so his bond for the organized scheme to defraud <laughs> uh, was listed in jail records as to be set. And he was still currently being held at the local correctional center as of Monday morning. Wow. So that pizza pie was a pizza lie. If you're going to impersonate something, don't impersonate pizza because you will get busted quick. <laughs> Don't you deliver a raw one? No, thanks.